Hi, I'm John Brownlee with Yellowfin, and today we're going to take a look at the 42 offshore. Now, until the introduction of our 54, this was our biggest boat, our flagship, and it's still an incredible fishing machine. I'm going to show you some of the reasons why it remains one of our most popular boats. Let's start with the helm area. You've got a giant space to mount electronics, enough room for twin 24-inch screens. A centered helm, lots of places for other electronics, including things like stereo systems and the like. You've got a big hardtop area. There are lots of hardtop options available, including towers, and a big glass windshield with great visibility 360 degrees around the boat. Let's talk about live well capacity for a minute. Now, this live well in the transom comes with standard equipment. It holds over 100 gallons of water. You can store a lot of bait in there. But that's not enough. You can get a second well, optionally, that goes under the deck in the floor and that'll give you almost twice as much capacity. No matter what live well situation you opt for, all of them are supplied by a standard Best Marine pump box. You can power the 42 offshore with triple or quad outboards of your choice, up to a total of 2,000 total horsepower. And coupled with a 571 gallon fuel capacity and Yellowfin's proprietary stepped hull design, you get both speed and efficiency along with outstanding range. It's important to note that you get a lot of standard stuff coming with this boat. Things like titanium hardware. All of the cleats and the rod holders and the through hauls in this boat are made by Gemlux, top quality titanium. You get a giant dry storage box forward of the console, and of course you get the sub-console cabin with a twin berth and a head. The 42 Offshore has lots of sub-deck storage capacity. Two big boxes in the back, two in the front on either side, obviously, and then one huge storage compartment, which is a fish box on the center line in the bow. This drains by a macerator pump and extends forward, so you can put several really, really big fish in there or a whole bunch of small ones. One of the cool standard features of the 42 Offshore is this cavernous storage area. This one's holding a life raft, but you can put all sorts of stuff in there. Life jackets, loose gear, ropes, whatever you want. You can use it as a cooler if you like. It's huge, it'll hold a lot of stuff. Oh, and by the way, it makes a great sun lounge for afternoon entertaining. This is the optional forward seating, a very, very popular option because it gives you a bunch of extra seats for guests, but maybe more importantly, it gives you a lot of storage room. You put loose gear, things like buckets, fenders, that kind of stuff, which take up valuable real estate. A dive door is a popular option as well for obvious reasons. If you like to go snorkeling or swimming or you're a serious diver, this lets you get in and out of the boat with ease. And there's a snap-in ladder that goes right there. Easy ingress and egress. And while we're talking about options, let's discuss a few notable options that a lot of people go for on the 42. One of the most popular is a second row of seats at the helm. So instead of three seats, now you have six. Take along extra guests. You can get a gyroscopic stabilizer for those that might get seasick once in a while. Plus, you can get a four kilowatt generator and air conditioning for the sub console cabin area. The 42 Offshore adds true multi day traveling capabilities to all of the fishing prowess exemplified by Yellowfin's smaller center consoles. An awesome offshore performer, the 42 competes with much larger inboard sport fishermen on the far offshore fishing grounds at a fraction of the cost. Or you can cruise to far away exotic destinations with your family in style and comfort. Yellowfin's 42 Offshore gives you the best of the center console design combined with spacious and well-executed creature comforts. A combination of assets that's hard to beat. 